Hey, how you doing? It's Mr. Clifford. We're talking about key concepts of macroeconomics. Now it's time to talk about the loanable funds market. Here's the idea, right? The demand and supply for loans determines the real actual interest rate, right? That's the real interest rate. Let's talk about why the graph looks the way it does. All right, if the interest rate is real high, you're not going to demand to take out a loan, right? Remember, you're the person who demands loans. If you want to borrow money, you demand a loan, right? So a high interest rate, let's say 50% interest rate, you're not going to want to borrow money. But the people want to supply those loans, that would be very high. So if the interest rate was up here at 50%, we'd have a surplus. Down here, let's say 1%, at 1%, you want to borrow a whole lot of money, right? The demand for loans would be very high. But the people who want to supply those loans be very few. I'm not want to loan money to you and only have 1% actual return. You're going to get somewhere where you're going to be equilibrium. Let's say 5% is the real interest rate at equilibrium. There's no surplus, there's no shortage, 5%. Now, keep in mind, like in all markets, these curves can all shift around. Right? If people want to supply more loans, or they want to decrease the supply of loans, or if for some reason people want more loans or want less loans, that will affect the actual equilibrium real interest rate. But the one I want to talk about is this. It's called deficit spending. Remember, the government doesn't print money to pay for its debts, but it needs to borrow it. If there's an increase in the deficit, and so the amount of money we're bringing in, our tax revenue, is way less than our expenditures, the government needs to cover that difference. Right? Where do they do it? In the loanable funds market. Right? The government increases the demand for loanable funds. Why? Well, the private sector, there's a certain amount of demand to borrow, right? Demand for a lot. I need to borrow money. Here's the demand. When the government shows up, right, another big group coming in saying, hey, I, I want to borrow too. I, I demand a loan, right? That would increase the demand. And you can see on the graph, that would increase the real interest rate. When there's deficits, this will increase the demand for loanable funds that'll lead to an increase in the real interest rate. So far, who cares? Well, it leads to this concept called crowding out. When interest rates increase, that's going to lead to a decrease in investment. Right? right? Businesses are going to invest less if rates are now higher. The reason why rates are higher is because the government's out there borrowing as well. The reason why the governments usually run a deficit is because they're trying to use fiscal policy to close a recessionary gap. Right? And so if the government is increasing its spending, trying to increase G, your government spending, to close a recessionary gap, it does that. But if it runs a deficit, that'll increase demand for loanable funds, which will increase interest rates, will actually hurt the economy. It'll actually bring it back down. And that's why this is called crowding out. Crowding out is the idea that the government does something, try to improve the economy, when they actually hurt it a little bit by increasing interest rates, right? or blocking out or crowding out consumers or investors from doing something they would have normally done had the government not done this. All right? Crowding out is a key concept. Make sure you got it. Till next time.